All right, so what is going on guys? So today I wanted to make a follow-up video for a question that I have been getting a lot in the recent past. So I wanted to go ahead and make this follow-up video. I made a video talking about Atomic Hub and how anybody could create their own atomic asset. And people have been asking me, how do I make a drop? So I just showed how you go through the process of creating an asset. And in this video, I wanna go through this article that I've been sending people to help them. And I wanna go through the process together because it, to be honest, it is not very simple. That's the main reason I didn't include it in the first video because there is a lot of steps in this process and I'm hoping very soon this process becomes a little bit easier. But this video, I'm going to go through the steps that it takes to create your own drop. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So step one, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is create a collection, a schema, and a template. Now I did that in the last video, so if you haven't done that part yet, please go back and watch the last video. So the next thing you wanna do, step two, is add Atomic Drops X as an authorized account on your collection. So that's pretty much the smart contract account that you need to add, so let's go ahead and go through that process right now. All right, so once you get to this screen here where you're looking at your collection. As you can see, mine says wax test one, two, three, four, five. And my display name is Imagining Tech. I can go ahead and click right here on the edit collection button and show advanced details. And from here, you can see I already added it, but you're gonna type in right underneath where your account name is. You're gonna hit the plus sign and you're gonna type in Atomic Drops X. Okay, so this is where the magic happens. This is where you're gonna actually create the parameters of your drop. So if you scroll down, um, you're gonna go ahead and put the authorized account. This is my Wax Cloud wallet account name. This is my Wax account name. The name of your collection, this is mine. Um, you can put however many assets you want to mint. Um, the listing price that you wanna have for your asset. Now down here, you're gonna go eight comma Wax but it lays out all this in the article. Max claimable, these are all parameters that you can set for your drop. I just wanted to make it simple, so I zeroed out all of these, but if you read in the article, it'll tell you exactly which each one is. So um, it's pretty self-explanatory, honestly. Um, if you set to zero, then you can pretty much have infinite amounts of claims. And if you set up a limit, you, know, you, you can go ahead and do that. And that might be useful depending on how you want your drop to go. You know, if you don't want a, a large amount of congestion or you want to make sure that the distribution is fair or, you know, somewhat equal, these are all parameters that are, you know, can be played with and nobody's exactly figured it out to a science yet. But you can customize all this stuff from your start time to your end time, how long your drop goes for, everything is pretty much customizable. So once you fill out all these fields, you're gonna go ahead and hit submit transaction. And you gotta make sure you're logged into your wallet. So let's try that again, submit transaction. So it looks like it's throwing me an error. Let me go ahead and see why. All right guys, so right here, pay special attention because it does get a little tricky. Um, it took me a little while to get everything the way it's supposed to be filled out. So now right here, um, assets to mint. Make sure you fill it out exactly the way I have it here. I just copied it and pasted. And right here, there was one, two, three, four. That's the example they give here. So I just copied and pasted here. And um, I just put my collection, or my template ID name. Uh, my template ID number, sorry. So just go ahead and put your template ID number right there. And that should be good. Now, in the next field, I wanted to list my asset at 10,000 wax. So in order to do that, I needed to write out 10,000. And then after the decimal point, there should be eight zeros if you want to be paid in wax. Now, you can also, if you choose to, be paid for your asset in dust. And if you do choose to get paid in dust, you only have to put four, <clears throat> excuse me, four zeros after the decimal point. 
So just keep that in mind. If you are getting paid in wax, you have to put eight zeros and then at the end, space, write out wax. If you don't write out wax, it will not submit. So make sure you write out wax. So from here, once you have the success transaction in green at the bottom, you can go ahead and click and it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. And go ahead, once you get here, you're going to click on traces, which is the second tab at the top. And you're gonna scroll down till you get to drop ID here. So this is my drop ID here, and we are going to input it in one second. All right, awesome. Now that we have our drop ID, we can go ahead to the final step, and we're gonna type in wax.atomichub.io slash drop slash whatever our drop ID number is. So you can scroll down and you can see that mine is 6341, right? So we're gonna go ahead and just copy paste this part here right underneath, all right? Copy link address, paste it, and just at the end, 6341, and it should take me to my drop. And there you have it. That is my drop. As you can see, it's not verified because I haven't gone through the process of KYC yet, but I do plan on doing that. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys would find value in a video like that. I am curious because I do want to help other people with that. I have got that question a little bit. And yeah, I hope this helped for anybody who was struggling um, to do a drop because a lot of people were asking me, how do I do it? I know this process is a little tedious and I hope that they can streamline it soon. But honestly guys, um, as long as you do exactly what's in this video, you should be okay and you should be able to do it relatively quickly, honestly. Once you already have your, your NFT and your collection and all that set up, honestly, this is a 10 minute process. You know, just pay attention to what you're putting in the fields because one little thing can mess everything up and it will throw you in error. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.